So what's up you guys? Today I'm heading over to, uh, which I didn't know we had here. Oh, well, it's not even close, but uh, in Costa Mesa there's a Dainese store. Dainese, Dainese. Um, it's called D Store. It's like a big warehouse just full of their gear. So I thought that was cool. I wasn't doing anything today, so I'm like, sure, let's go over. Uh, should take about like an hour or so to get there. So on the way, I just wanted to do like a like a three month review on all the gear that I had, like uh, my boots, my clutch levers, and my bar and mirrors, just so you can know what I think about them after like long use. Because when I when I barely got them, I did like a quick overview, but it's not enough for a full review. So we can start off with the shorty levers so they're pretty cool uh, because they do give it a cleaner look um, they still respond just like the original ones did so that's a plus of course um, more adjustability but mostly I got them for the style same thing with the uh, with the bar and mirrors uh, you can see a lot more and these are the folding kind uh, so last time when I when I got hit and I dropped the bike it just folded in and got scratched I didn't really have to replace it so much better it does get some getting used to since they are just a bit lower but overall you I feel like it's a lot safer and of course along with like the clutch levers like it's for a cleaner look which is the main reason I got it but yeah so um, so that's what I'm doing today it's New Year's Eve, it's in the morning, so I should make it back in time for dinner, or maybe even lunch. Yeah, so I'll probably throw in some footage of me at the store, or some pics actually, because I don't know if I'm going to walk around inside with the GoPro on. That was a terrible downshift. Yeah, oh, my boots. That's the other one. Yeah, so the boots. I got the Dainese C2B Dinos. They're the mesh ones, not the waterproof ones or the pros. So I did notice, yes, they are not waterproof at all. I mean, I didn't expect them to be, but last time when we had the little mini storm here, I was soaked. Now I know I should always carry an extra pair of socks in my bag or something. Walking around like that was uncomfortable all day. Super cold. So that sucked. But the boots themselves, I love them. Really comfortable. Really sturdy. Definitely feel a lot more safer than with my shoes on. I did notice one day I did ride in normal boots. They were a lot lighter. Like I felt that there was almost no protection on it. They were super light and more flimsy than the ones I'm used to riding. Overall, I would recommend always riding in some sort of protective uh, shoe because normally Vans or Converse are not going to protect you in any way, especially in the slide or something. Yeah, so I will show them to you. But they flow with tons of air, like right now. Like well, actually, the temperature right now is like around 57. That's why I am wearing my freeze-out glove liners. Because oh, the gloves too. Even though they're perf leather, you would think that they would repel some water. Nope, completely drenched. Even I had the liners in, and those got wet. So 
overall it was freezing. Uh, it did not really work in water. So, I, so now I know I should have to buy waterproof gloves too. Oh, I did buy boot covers though for, for my boots from Cycle Gear. They're just some um, PVC uh, over, over boot covers. I haven't actually had to use them since I bought them after it already rained. But yeah, so got those. Slowly I'm just getting all the gear that I'm. <coughs> well, it's, it's super bumpy. All the gear that I think that I might. Well, that I know that I will need later. But I haven't had a chance to test it out. Yeah, overall. After three to four months with all this gear, I can definitely recommend them if you're looking for some type of boot and weren't interested in those. So, this is my last video of this year, just because it is New Year's Eve. <clears throat> my next video should be the review on the CBR 300 dual log with my girlfriend. So, stay tuned for that. Um, if you like my video so far, thanks to all, uh, thanks to you who are already subscribed. Uh, but if not, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I usually answer any question you post. Or if you want to see a certain video or something, I'll try to get it up. <coughs> but yeah, so, thanks for watching, you guys.